very good morning. Very good morning, uh, Father. And thanks very much for uh, saving my life on Easter day from the mountains. <laughs> no. Tomo was telling right. the top. I was yeah. just did not know where to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. That was the Thank last resort. Welcome. Yeah, no, we just simply, simply thought it was bad, bad weather conditions as well yes. at the time, and we sort of right. Okay. We make it in the last minute, and then we got you out of there. I, yeah. I was. Opening today along this uh, health facility, Radio Secret Heart uh, District Health Center here along uh, Tapini. Uh, me play attempted long this policy long I'm a long government one them church long uh, public private uh, partnership. Now that's what we can achieve a long time. You uh, Katai got a commitment for the sake of our people and I think uh, uh, this facility here I think speaks for what we can do together, long benefit long all people. So the people, uh, our rural population in this case here in Guerrilla uh, well, District are the winners because they're going to have uh, health uh, services right at their, their doorsteps. And, uh Two thousand eight, MOU we signed as a as partners. Um, it's not easy to mobilize resources. Uh, it took us a little longer than we thought it would have been, but uh, that's what is expected of, uh, uh, of, of a partnership arrangement that, that one can be dreaming of. Uh, we realized that uh, we've entered into that um, partnership arrangement, and so in a way committed ourselves to uh, achieve what we celebrated today. We wanted to see that uh, uh, we could um, move around and mobilize partners to come in and support us in, in pulling what little resource we had to um, allow us to make the facility um, to be what it is today. It is a wonderful gift to our people. Uh, our dream, particularly my dream at that time when, when I decided to get the Provincial Executive Council to uh, transfer the facility and upon the acceptance of the bishop and, uh, um, and the parish priest uh, of Tapini, uh, we embarked on that process and uh, we knew and we reminded ourselves that it's not going to be an easy task to um, uh, achieve what we wanted to, what we actually intended at that uh, signing uh, to be. And so we reminded ourselves that it's, a, it's, a, it's going to be a long road and we need to start looking at other people who could come in to make happen what happened today. It's well in line with our vision and mission to transform rural health services. This is what I hope can be repeated throughout the country. I really think it's critical that political leaders locally take ownership, lead their people to really build facilities like this. And I also hope that the provincial health authorities and leaders at, uh, at all levels take ownership, build the partnerships together with churches and together with the developers together with all people that uh, are able to provide comprehensive service to our people. In 2008 when we signed the MOU, no, I never thought we'd see the facilities we'd see today. It's been a, it's been a wonderful uh, development, um, uh, you know, driven thanks to Father Brian for what he's done, but um, it's what we hope for. I, I never quite envisioned this, but it's certainly with the sign in the MOU was what we were dreaming for uh, to develop the health facilities here and, and to bring these services to the people of Boilala. I think for the people themselves, this is uh, uh, one of those uh, long-awaited uh, uh, services. Uh, 
as uh, the national secretary himself was surprised that uh, even though before our opening there are only uh, five children again been delivered from the uh, the first from the new facility and uh, that for him indicates that there was uh, at one time all mama in isales lo kam long here long long kisim marasi long hausi ko kam simply for the reason that uh, there was uh, health workers were not present or in service tap long the uh, health facilities um, or medicine is have come uh, supplies have come long um, pot must be come long here long tapini stuck stuck away in one of those uh, rooms uh, used by come long uh, when they used by this long only cooking more salal marasin or people you know you know kissing service long and so uh, it's a sad story uh, all along so when in 2008 people like this initiative long uh, try to attempt this uh, collaboration a partnership become here yeah. Uh, we've seen people coming back here and taking ownership, taking pride that they can, can walk into a health center and the uh, health workers are present and they will give them the best attention. And uh, that for the people is again uh, a sign of hope and also for them is very assuring that what we talk about delivery of services, they can really see it and they themselves can really feel it firsthand because uh, instead long walk about, not give up long uh, rot or maybe just stay long place long all, they can still attempt to come. Even sometimes for two or three days only walk about they come, at least they can still come within, uh, within walking distance long uh, resume all, uh, all services. So uh, uh, it's, a, it's a good news that we are turning the bend uh, and seeing that uh, people can receive once more health services readily available to them, accessible to them right here at Tapini. Today marks the official opening of the new district health centre in honour of Mary, the Mother of God, under the title of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. It brings to fruition the joint venture undertaken by Central Provincial Government and the Catholic Diocese of Brainer with the signing of an MOU back in October 2008, whereby the Central Provincial Government sought to revitalise the collapsed government-run health services at Tarpini by transferring the management and control of the then Tarpini Health Centre to the Diocese of Purina. This was largely an initiative of our Governor, the Honourable Alphonse Moroy, in keeping with national and central provincial government policy for public-private partnership to address what had become an appalling situation of poor health service delivery at Tarpini. The national government's medium-term development strategy states, while government must ensure that the priority services such as health and education are delivered to the people, it need not deliver those services directly. While other agencies, such as churches, are more efficient in delivery of services, they should be provided with the financial support to do so. Moreover, the Central Provincial Government's five-year plan, Section 2, indicates that the Government realises that it alone cannot provide adequate health services and that other stakeholders linked to the health sector will be embraced as partners. As you drive into Tarpini, the most impressive feature of the station is now the health centre, right in the centre of the station, proudly highlighting that this community cares for its sick and those who are suffering, and that they are not forgotten but of, of central importance. As your parish priest, I'm very happy to see this change come about in the life of this community. Uh, today, you may 
Luki mon pla big pla. Wo come up inside long district long yumi long tapini. Na yumi tok tok long this pla public private partnership come up. Please clear. Na commitment blo mi pla long sanapung one time. Long delivery all basic services long health na education. Now for all of us present. I would like to clarify one point, that this partnership between the church and state, it is not about competition, it is, about, it is not about rivalry, it's not about putting down anybody. The partnership is about collaboration. It is about working together for ensuring the basic services are coming to our people. And I have a point to make as well. I have been observing the uh, community participation. You pala come on them all good pala kai kai na sing sing blong you pala long ready this pala day. And me like talking you pala all same this pala he big pala something. He one kind all same contractor he bring him. Work he come na all materials he come long build him this pala house sick. Like blong you pala sing sing blong you pala kai kai pig you pala bring him on him something he come long. Uh, ready him this pla day, M E B plus something, you mean not put him price long and long money, that's all he come. Long like long we plan a strong long you plan. Me got Billy Paul Sam. More services you may bring him come long, district long you me. Especially long Kairo Kuna, too long here long, go in And by helping more people long you mean long stop long place, not kiss him all services. Instead, long pine him or semi, no got something he come up long here. Now only broke him rot, now go come up long pot must be. Now you got name all time, no good. Public-private partnership arrangements are not new as we see when the government thought about it in 2008. These arrangements have always been in existence. It was just that people who look forward and who look ahead need to be in the right place at the right time to make those arrangements work for our province, our districts, and for those of us who have taken that step forward to understand each other, to work closely with each other so that we can maximize our efforts, pool our resources, and provide structures and services that we can deliver to our people. Thank you. Let this health facility be a sign within our community that upholds our true dignity as human beings in the face of human suffering. May it be a place that promotes understanding about diseases and sickness, good health and hygiene within our community. May it be a place that promotes the values of Catholic family life, offering support to married couples, and helping to guide the young to make the right choices with their lives. Heavenly Father, we dedicate this new facility under the patronage of Mary, the mother of your son, Jesus, with the title of a lady of the Sacred Heart. In the close of 125th anniversary year, when the missionaries first came to this place, we recommit to you our life as church, as being one of loving service to people everywhere, especially to those of greatest need. May the work of this health center be to your greater glory 
and for the coming of your kingdom here on earth. We praise you and we give you thanks through our Lord Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Time to Bishop Katim Ribbon Long. This is house sick, Our Lady of Sacred Heart, and mark him official opening. Traditionally, me put him the long. The way head blow pig. Now now I'm long. Passing blow. All white man, all line come. Inside law, so me me. To la bishop cut him and mark him. Official opening. Blow. How sick blow you me. It's a wonderful facility and when this final building is uh, finally renovated it's going to be, I think, one of the better health, well, certainly the best health facility in the Goylala and probably one of the better facilities in all of Central Province. Ben, you better get in, otherwise they... I will, Bishop, otherwise... They will think that uh, you're just to stay back. <laughs> Thank you, Bishop. Yes. Okay. Good. You better get out of... Uh, before it uh, close up. Okay. Okay. Once again, I just want to acknowledge uh, NBC Nakundu uh, too, long uh, celebrations, whatever we have, especially long rural areas that we are able to carry them and uh, uh, share it with the, the rest of the nation. I, I think this is an encouraging uh, story to tell everybody that it is possible when everybody puts aside their differences. And as I was saying, this is not about uh, competition and rivalry, it's about uh, collaboration, cooperation, partnership for the benefit of our people. And I, th I think that is uh, what NBC is also helping to bring this kind of stories to our people. So thank you, thank you very much for always being uh, available and supportive to us in having to tell these stories that uh, we, we cannot tell otherwise. Thank <laughs> you.